Today I'm doing a natural dye using loquat leaves. Now I don't know if loquat trees are commonly found where you are, but here in Northern California, they do really well growing in our Mediterranean climate. And I grew up with one um, in my childhood home that would make the most delicious little orange fruit so you'd eat every summer. So this is kind of what um, a low crot tree looks like, except this is a baby version. This came from my mom's big tree. And I'm not using the leaves from this little guy. I'm using the leaves from this guy, which did come from my mom's tree. So I'm gonna strip the leaves off. I'm gonna chop them all up and then throw them into my dye pot with water, bring it up to a boil, and that's it. It's super easy. The reason I'm cutting through these leaves is because they're sort of thick. And if you stack a bunch of them together and use scissors, you can cut through a bunch of leaves quickly. So for today's dye, I'm going to do what I always do. And I'm going to dye um, mordanted wool, pre-mordanted with alum. And when it comes to a ratio, of course, more is better but a one-to-one -one ratio is fine. So if I'm going to um, dye three ounces of wool, I'm gonna use three ounces of leaves. I think that is good. Let's get some water. My pot is full about three quarters of the way. I'm gonna add in my leaves and I'm going to bring this little mixture up to a rigorous boil for about an hour. Heat on nice and high. You're gonna boil it for an hour and you'll notice that the dye will start to come out and turn like a yellow to an orange color and then you'll get some foam and once that foam turns pink, I know I'm done. This has been boiling for an hour. You can see that boil foam right there. It's got a pink tinge to it and the actual dye has this really nice beautiful color. Is that orange or pink or I'm not sure, but this looks good. So when it looks like this, this is when you're ready to add your yarn. So today I have um, a skein of 100% wool pre-alum mordanted, and it's been soaking in warm water because I don't want to shock the wool. And I'm gonna add it straight into the dye pot. Um, if you're one of those people that wants to strain out your leaves before you add it to the dye, you would of course strain out your leaves and then add your fiber straight into the pot. And you're gonna let this sit in here for about half an hour, even though I can already tell that it's sucking up the collar amazingly. So this is gonna be exciting. This is gonna be a good dye. I love it when this happens. Okay, we're gonna let it sit for a half an hour and then we'll come back and check on it. We are done. It's been about 30 minutes and this is the color you can expect from a low quat leaf, which is super surprising and fantastic and wonderful, right? Just like everything with natural dye, it's a huge surprise to get such a fantastic color from a green leaf. And at this point you're done, except if you've been watching any of my other videos, you know that I love shifting color with washing soda and I'm gonna do it again with this one. So I've got my trusty jar of washing soda and my pH strips to check the pH when I'm done. And I am just going to add in about a teaspoon at a time until I get a pH eight. And as you noticed, I pulled out the skein of yarn before I adjusted the pH, because if you add in your washing soda with your yarn still in the pot and then the washing soda can stick to the yarn and not the dye and this way it's just a better way okay let's check the ph let's see how high we can get it oh yeah that's really good that's like almost a nine ten okay that'll work let's see is this still too hot to Still a little hot. Move this out of the way. 
Okay, I'm gonna let it sit in this bath for a little bit longer until I notice the color shift and change because the higher pH is going to bring out the pinker tones of the dye. So without the washing soda, you get an orange color, actually kind of like the color of the actual low-cot fruit. But when you add washing soda, like I said, it brings out the pink tone. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, you can't go wrong with loquat leaves, orange or pink, but I just love this shade. So at this point, we're done. All you have to do is rinse out until uh, the water runs clear and hang to dry. And I'm gonna find more yarn because there's a lot of dye left of this pot and I love this color. So until we dye again. Mm -hmm.